Ah, so it's been a while. After taking a nice break from the stresses of adventuring, Omega decides, eh, I'll just break the rules of the reality I once knew, and travel the world with my favorite Pokemon, Jared, who should definitely be dead due to the Nuzlocke, but that ended a while ago. Besides, Jared never got the opportunity to shine, and that sickened Omega. Now on a conquest to conquer the world together, Omega plans to beat the Teal Mask DLC with just a single Paldean Wooper. And copious amounts of performance enhancing X items. <laughs> God, it's been a mighty fine while since I've played this video game. Um, don't know how to activate it, but we'll see. Oh, I assume we activate it right here. Hello. How's it going? Hmm. Are you? Oh, you must be. You're one of the students chosen for the school trip, aren't you? And your name was? Omega TM. Uh, you know, it's me, you know, the guy. Everyone knows me. I've been like the champion for such a long time. Hello. Omega TM, huh? Never heard of you. Are you perhaps a especially exceptional student? Yes, I mean, you know, I am the champion, you know, I, 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 I did that. I also kind of saved the world, fun fact. It's been a while, I gotta, you know, get myself back into the story. Oh, but here I go on and on, and I haven't even introduced myself. Call me. Miss Briar, I'm so sorry, I'm late. Oh, hello to you too, Omega. What a lucky scamp you are, getting to take part in a school trip so soon after transferring here. What? It's been, like, a year. Huh? Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Miss Briar. I got a bit carried away. I'm a teacher of a Blueberry Academy. That's a school in the Unova region. Oh! Oh, okay. You know Miss Briar helps set the curriculum there. This year is Blueberry's... Uh, uh, I can't speak, fellas. It's been a while. <laughs> we'll be heading to Kitakami, a land known for its picturesque fields and rice paddies. You see, the same energy present in Paldea's terrestrial phenomenon has been detected there. I'm hoping to do some digging into the matter myself, in between my supervising duties. Though I'd also appreciate the chance to take a good look around the great crater of Paldea. Ah, yes. Well, there's not much I can do about that without permission from the Pokemon League and Director Clavel. Oh, I know. I've already put in the proper applications. I trust that I'll get a favorable response soon. I don't know if she should go down there. I don't trust anyone in Pokemon anymore. I just give up. Are you ready to set out for Kitakami? Yes. By the way, do you know of the Violet Book? So last time someone talked about the Violet Book, they were a robot? <laughs> um, never heard of it. Got absolutely no clue. Really? Well, that's unexpected. I'm quite sure at least one copy was donated to the school. I don't read. I play Pokemon. The author of the Violet Book, Keith, was in fact an ancestor of mine. I even have his original manuscript. That's interesting. What? Uh, where'd you get that from? These are the pages that were blacked out and made illegible in the published version of the book. Oh, this stupid picture. Yes, this picture blew up the internet. Everyone was talking about it. I, I, I don't know anything about it. Uh, to me, everyone is like, oh, there's a little guy up there. I think there's also a little guy up there. It's pretty cool. Don't know much about it, uh, haven't looked into it at all, but yes. A disc Pokemon, ooh. While separated from the research team in the crater's depths, I found a strange entity. Whether it was a Pokemon or even alive at all, I know not. It bore a shell with layers of overlapping hexagons and gleamed brighter still than gemstone. Viewed as a whole, it resembled a mysterious, brilliant disc. Mm. Oh, there's more. <laughs> ooh. The hidden treasure of Area Zero! Epic part one. This place looks. Yep, it, it definitely looks. It's a cool looking bench right there. Just focus on the bench. You see, you see the bench? The bench doesn't look bad. All right, look, look at that Pelipper. That Pelipper looks pretty good. Okay, actually zoomed up and it doesn't look that. Don't look at anything. Close the stream off. <laughs> well, you all survived the long trip. Then welcome to the land of Kitakami. This is the stage for all of the new experiences and learning opportunities you'll have out in nature. <gasps> oh, oh, my boy! The guy! The lad! <laughs> Never mind! Screw the graphics! Everything is perfect! <laughs> Up ahead is the Masui Town. That will be our base of operations for the duration of the trip. If I butcher any of these names, which I definitely will, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> hello, son. What do I do about him? How do I say hello? Oh! <laughs> hello! As per culture, we must catch the boy. And it's a crit capture as well, of course it is. <laughs> Huge. Hello, totally not important characters over there. That guy! <laughs> He's our real traveling companion. Let's go! Sis, look there! there there's one now! Uh, damn! I forgot how fast people run in this game. <laughs> so, you're one of those students who came from the Paudea region, huh? Whoa, way cool. Hush, Kieran. I'm Carmine. Sorry, but I can't just let an outsider let- Everyone is racist! 
What the fuck? I just can't let an outsider like you wander into Masui Town. If you insist on coming in, you have to battle me first. Come on, come on, sis. You just want to battle, making this big fuss over nothing. I told you to hush, Kiki. Damn. Just ignore my little brother. So, distinct lack of Nomona in this. Is this going to be the new Nomona? All right, let's do this. Get him. Whoa, understood. Jared, get her. I'm going to have some real good fun with you. Don't like it. Already get him the Nomona vibes. Don't enjoy it. Don't appreciate it. She has the same glow. It's Nomona. It, Nomona reskinned. Help. <laughs> what do we do? Got rid of one stalker onto the next. Let's go in with an open mind. Welcome to Kitakami. For your first experience, get ready to eat dirt. Level 60 Poochie. Evolve it. Why is it level 60? Evolve the poor thing. Are you still cheering, dude? <laughs> Your sister lost. They're both wearing the Nimona glove. Did Nimona become like a celebrity or something? I guess she kind of was. You, who, who are you? Well, <laughs> you know, I'm the champion, you know. <laughs> Don't want to brag or anything, but you know, I'm, I'm the kind of the champion. Wowzers, you went and beat my sis? I can't believe it. There's no way you should have been able to beat me. Well, you had three unevolved Pokemon. Fine, I guess you pass. Barely. Seems like I've got no choice. I'll let you into town, but only if you become one of my grunts and do every little thing I... What? <laughs> here comes trouble. Come on, Kiki. We're out of here. B but I... Wait up, sis! Why, hello there, stranger. You must be one of the students from the Paldean Academy, right? I help run the community center here in Masui Town. And a fair few other things besides. I'll be looking after your group during your visit. I hope those two kids weren't giving you any grief just now. Were they? No, not really. They burned Jared, but he got over it. Also, this guy has been chilling. Oh, uh, how'd they get there? This way, everyone. All right, everyone. This is the community center. This is where you'll be staying while you're here in Kitakami. The plan was to have you and the students from Blueberry Academy stay here together, but it turns out this space is going to be all for you, our visitors from Uva Academy. So in you come. Don't be shy. <laughs> I love the walking animation in this game. They, like, take strides just to go nowhere. Thank you for the tour, sir. You must be all tired after such a long day. We just got here. It's like 8 in the morning. The next day. Morning, everyone. Did you sleep well? Starting today, you'll be joined by our two students from the Blueberry Academy. Go on, kids. Time to introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Carmine. It's a pleasure to meet you all outsiders. I, I, I mean, uh, visitors from Paldea. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, I'm Kieran. Carmine and Kieran actually grew up here, so ask them for help if you need anything. I will not. No, I don't really feel like it. Now that that's settled, why don't I tell you all a bit about what we have planned for you. First, we'll have you split into pairs. Then each pair will be tasked with finding three signboards located around the land of Kitakami. On each signboard, you'll find snippets of an old folktale passed down here in Kitakami. Read them all and learn a bit about our home. To prove you've completed the task, we ask that each pair take a snapshot together in front of these signboards with their phone or camera. It's a self-guided tour of Kitakami. Learn all about its rich history. And remember that one of our goals of this trip is to deepen in the ties between our two schools. It seems like having someone who knows the area well would be a big help. That being said, let's try to maximize the number of interschool pairs, okay? Time to mingle. There's like, there's four of us and two of them. That's not, that's not, that's not math. I don't really want to. Hey, how's it going? Oh man. But, I could, they didn't want to talk either. I don't want to talk to her. How's it going? You're Omega TM or whatever, right? You, yeah, how did you get my name? Who told you? Who, who's ratting me out, huh? Let me guess. You want to pair up with one of us poor, lonely blueberry students? Not really. But wait, wait, but you're the one who came to talk to us. What are you, some kind of weirdo? Oh, yeah, so my little brother here has been all googly-eyed over you since yesterday. He wouldn't stop talking about you, even at home. I seriously couldn't get him to shut up. Sis, sis, what are you telling him that for, dummy? Hey, what should you call dummy if you know what's good for you? Oh, man, I feel like this family is dysfunctional. Look at him, being all shy. See, my brother's no good at talking to people. He'd probably never work up the nerve to ask you himself, but he'd really like to battle with you. Honestly, Kieran seems chill. Seems like a chill guy. Carmine, however, no. Well, what do you know? Turns out you're sorta nice. This'll make my brother real happy. Chin up, Kiki. Omega says he'll battle you. Wh what? what Wowzers, really? You don't mind? Bro, he says wowzers. This guy's awesome. He doesn't mind a bit. Get to your positions, you two. Everybody else, clear out. Make some space. I, I, I got this. Everyone has, like, the little glove that Nimona has. I know I said that before. It's just an interesting thing. I don't know if there's, like, lore behind the glove. <laughs> Damn, that- that old man is cheering! Oh my goodness. Wowzers, I can't believe this. I get to battle you. This is awesome! Hey! Stole my sludge! I'll kill you! Crush his dreams right now. Understood! Jared, get in there! You got this, Yana. C cut through the wind and show him what you've got! Poison jab. He's dead. Wowzers! <laughs> 
All right, buddy, I know you have like a little catchphrase. <laughs> you said Wowzers four times in the past few minutes. Wowzers, you sure are strong, Omega TM. You really aren't half bad. Kiki's nearly as strong as I am, you know. Really? Cause <laughs> you suck. You should go up ahead and pair with Kiki then. What? No, sis, don't. Don't what? It's not like we can pair up. Or were you helping to partner up with some other rando outsider instead of... Okay. <laughs> hey, dickhead. <laughs> Stop with the outsider business. Well, no, but... Oh, man. Don't worry. He's just being shy. I'll go find some other chump to pair up with, too. Watch out for my little bro, you. Uh, um... So it looks like we should probably start with the signboard at Loyalty Plaza. That's out past the apple orchards on the west side of the village. It's close by, and I figure it might um, make sense to, you know, visit them all in order. I'll probably just get in your way if I stick too close, so I'll just uh, follow you from a safe distance. Solo Jared run. Let's-a go. That's the first signboard. Oh, hi. S -s Sorry, did, did I startle you? Uh, I, I did mention that I'd head back and follow you here. We're supposed to read the signboard, right? Long, long ago, there was a fearsome ogre in the land of Kitakami. The ogre made its home in the mountain behind the village, frightening all who ventured there. One day, the ogre came down from the mountain in a terrible rage, causing great fear in the village. By some stroke of luck, Okidogi, Monkey Dory, and Fezendipity all happened to be there as well. What goofy little names. <laughs> the three Pokemon laid down their lives to fend off the ogre and sent it back to the mountain. In admiration, the people of the village bestowed upon this brave trio the title, The Loyal Three. Their remains were given a proper burial, and statues of the three were erected above the site. The Loyal Three monument is right over there. But don't you think the ogre in that folktale sounds kind of cool? I guess. Right! I knew you'd get it, Omega! Oh, but I guess most people would think that an ogre like that is scary, huh? I don't think there's any reason to be afraid. When I was little, I went up into the mountain so many times at night, all on my own, and I never once met that ogre. Um, so, yeah, we're supposed to take a photo in front of the signboard, right? I don't have a smartphone. C could you? Yeah. His casual peace sign. That's like the Omega is a me response to anything. You know, I didn't want to have to come do this whole school trip thing, but, well, it might actually be kind of fun. Hey, if you want, maybe we could set up a picnic. Would you like a sandwich? Whoa! <laughs> Bike, chill! <laughs> we just met this guy. Let's not introduce him to the eldritch horror that you are. Yeah, oh, what, what, what is that thing? Uh, some kind of kaiju or something? <laughs> That's my ride. My boy, Bike. You should get to know him. He's a cool guy. It's called Maridon, and you ride on it. Huh. I've never seen another Pokemon like this. And it seriously comes out whenever it hears the word sandwich? Never thought I'd actually get to meet such an awesome Pokemon. No wonder you're so strong, Omega. You're you're special. So the next, uh, we should go find the next signboard. It's on the grounds of Kitakami Hall. I'll hang back for now and meet you there later. Welcome to Kitakami Hall. We're glad to have you here. Relax and enjoy yourself. That's the second signboard. Bit tricky to find, huh? The ogre possessed four mysterious, glimmering masks. It is said that depending on the mask the ogre donned, the power of its cudgel would change. When wearing the teal mask- Oh, that's the- that's the thing! That's the name! That's the name of the thing! Before the loyal three fell, they wrestled away three of the ogre's masks, greatly weakening it. How the heck did he even follow you? <laughs> I don't know. If, if he took the same route we did, he's like, uh, uh, Did you have to- did, did you have to climb the big mountain, Omega? What the heck, dude? The masks the Loyal Three stole are, are kept over at Kitakami Hall. Everyone in town is scared of the ogre, but me? I really like it. It was strong and cool, and it didn't even care when everyone shunned it. I've always wanted to be like that, ever since I was a kid. I want to be as cool as the ogre. My sis sort of ends up doing everything for me, even when we're at school. I want to try to get stronger so I can do things for myself, you know? I'm gonna become someone people can rely on. Then just maybe I could be that ogre's friend. Uh, now onto the next signboard. If you wanted, we could go see the ogre's home. Folks call it the dreaded den. Hell yeah! <laughs> Let's go look at that. So I'll just head on up then. Come along when you're ready. And be careful. Oh. <laughs> Karen's like, whoa! <laughs> What's that shadow? Omega, did you have trouble getting across the narrow path? Yes. There it is, the dreaded den. This is supposed to be the ogre's home. At least that's what everyone says. I come here all the time, but I've never seen it. Maybe a powerful ogre like that would only show up if it heard some kind of battle going on. Oh yeah, I think I've gotten a bit stronger since the last time we battled. So, you know, if you wanted to, we could battle. All right, Jared, his first real fight. I'll give it all I got. I, I got this. All right, Jared, we got this. Oh, he evolved. <laughs> he evolved his Pokemon. Th this time, I'll put up a good fight. H hey, wh why do you still only have a Wooper on your team? Just asking for a friend. Oh, damn. They only leveled up to two levels. Ah! Ugh, damn! <laughs> he killed himself. <laughs> no, Karen! Poliwhirl. Luckily, I have Water Absorb, so he's not going to be able to hit me with much. Like I said. 
Jared is at max attack, by the way, if anyone's wondering. Come on, Poliwhirl. Charge at him with everything you've got. He keeps killing his Pokemon. Oh, never mind. I'm a <laughs> Good job, Jared. Yeah, no, Poliwrath and Yanmega are going to be a bit of an issue later on. We will see. <laughs> oh, man, I lost. I knew it. You really are strong, Omega. How am I ever going to be able to beat you? You only had one Wooper. If the Ogre saw that battle, I'm sure it'd be thinking, that kid's got real strength. See, my school, Blueberry Academy. It's a school that specializes in teaching the art of Pokemon battling. If I was str as strong as you, maybe I can aim to be the best trainer there. Let's have a look in the Ogre's then. Oh. <laughs> a lot of weird, like, cutaways. Oh, is it? <gasps> Just the guy. Watch your head. This place sucks. Whoa, no way. The sun's already gone down. I guess we'll have to save the last signboard for tomorrow. Oh, I, I almost forgot. Uh, today's the first day of the Festival of the Masks over at Kitakami Hall. It's this big event where everyone puts on masks and runs around celebrating. I mean, it's not like you gotta go or anything, but if you wanted to, you know, check it out, it, well, it'd be fun. Let's go together. Friendship is epic and cool. Uh, yeah, well, why not? Uh, it'd be great to go together. There's ju just a few things we'd have to get ready first, so we should swing by my house before heading to the festival. I'll be right behind you. If you want to head to my family, place first. See you there. Grandpa, I'm home. Welcome home, Kieran. And who's this with you? Uh, oh, um, this is Omega. He's part of the same school trip as me and Sis. Oh, ho! so this is your new friend of yours, eh, Kieran? I sure am. I gotta be nice to him. I can't, I can't do any of the mean ones. I feel bad. <laughs> w w what? Really? We're friends? Friends. I feel all tingly. Never mind. I should have went for the bad one. <laughs> and a universal Omega TM lost the Nuzlocke. He'd be mean to this guy. Thank you for befriending our Kieran here. Omega. Omega, this is my grandma. Well, fancy that. A friend of Kieran's. We're delighted to have you, Omega. Oh my, is it really already sundown? Goodness me, I'd nearly forgotten. The Festival of Mask starts tonight, doesn't it? Now, now, don't go running off just yet. We have to do up your hair, too. His hair is already pretty sick. There we are, all done. What? Uh my, uh, my, what, is that hit? That's me. Ew! What did they do to me? Oh, Omega, put the helmet back on. <laughs> That's why he's worn the helmet. His hair is not great. Hey, Gran, do you know where my, oh, this motherfucker. What are you doing here? Uh, Omega said he'd go to the Festival of Masks with me. Oh, really? Is that so? What's the matter anyway? What are you doing back here? Oh, right. Gran, I couldn't find my mask for the festival. Oh, the masks? They should be in the shed. I put them there after last year's festival. Put the damn helmet back on. Please, Omega. All right, to the shed. First one there wins. Wait, wait sis, you're such a cheater. Both of you are cheaters. I can't move. Sorry, y'all. All right, okay. Yes, <laughs> that's better. They changed my hair color, by the way. <laughs> How'd they do that? Uh, but there's gotta be another one. Uh, sis, uh, Omega's here. Yeah, I was right next to you guys. Uh, just rolling up like you own the place. What? D uh, d are you deaf? <laughs> Hello? Well, well, it looks like there's only two masks in the shed. Too bad, right? There's nothing I can do about it. Guess you'll have to do what without a mask, eh? First come, first served and all that. Come on now, don't look so glum. What is this? What's this little hand motion that you do all the time? How about instead of a mask, I give you a battle in style. Festival style. Come on, get in position. Piece of his hair has been contained. <laughs> it's like Mimikyu. If you take off the helmet, it just it's, it's too evil. If you look at it, you immediately die. <laughs> all right, round two. More peck. What are you, Marnie? Hello? Get out of here. Everything is so fast. So much faster than poor Jared. Earthquake. Die. What? It doesn't even have focus ash? Is this about the mask? Come on, stop with that super effective moves. It didn't, oh, it, okay. Thank God it had a focus ash. I was about to get mad. Because <laughs> as much as Jared is our God and Lord and Savior, Pokemon wise, not great. It's a special day, so time for a special move. Please don't. Jared is hurting. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I stirred him. Yikes, cannot take another one of those. So we're definitely going to die, but we can protect at least. Come on, Jared. I'm not losing to this girl. I refuse. Uh, how are we feeling about healing up, chat? <laughs> I'm feeling like healing up is a great idea for me. All right, um, another poison jab should kill. You annoying pest. You, you pest. <laughs> all right, Jared, you got it. No, he, all right. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. What is this? What what move is this? Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fuck. Excuse me? That's full of story, actually. Get rid of the point of uh, the para 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 Stop! Stop it! 
That move is crazy. Uh, Jared, it's okay. <laughs> Hold on, lad. We're not losing to this girl. Oh, God. <laughs> what the hell? I don't know how I feel about it. He healing is one thing. X item is another thing. We might have to, though. She's like, stop healing him. Now. <laughs> stop. Oh, my God. Do I even... Hold on. Do I even have... It? Okay, I, I have X item. I'm going to try an X special defense. We are going to stock this man up. If they keep failing at stun spore, that's great for us. That's... Okay, that's fine. We just use the special attack. We just use it. Yeah, huge. Massive. Uh, that's bad. <laughs> because my attack is is raised. Okay, we're going to Terra, and then we're going to sub. Oh, God, it's hitting first, isn't it? This is bad. Use stun spore. That'd be a smart idea for you. <laughs> now, don't let my opinion sway your, your choices here, but I think using stun spore would be a great idea. Okay. Uh, jeez. Ah, uh, you didn't have to do that, methinks. That, that was just, that was mean. Where's my critical hit? Because we did the X attack. Huge. All right. This absolute wall is dead. That is going to be a guy that we have to deal with later on. <laughs> Good job, Jared. Hey, you're supposed to be enamored and distracted by my festival style. Oh, well, it's not like beating me was going to cause another mask to magically appear. Now then, let me get my mask. You're not even wearing it. You're not even wearing it. Oh, no buts about it. Omega can just get his own mask at the festival. He's fine. Now move it. Let's go. Uh, oh, sorry, Omega. I saw that battle. You have to heal like 87 different times. But, uh, you know, that, that one Pokemon was kind of cheap with its insanely powerful healing move. That's really gonna hurt. <laughs> uh, yeah. I know my sis seems kind of hard, but 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 she's she's really not all that bad. Actually, she was tearing the shed apart trying to find a third mask for you before you got there. Uh, oh, but but uh, don't tell her I told you that, Omega. We, we should probably get going. So I think we should get rid of Substitute with Amnesia. Because Amnesia boosts its really, really, really bad special defense. Well, it's not bad, but like, you saw the second we took performance enhancing drugs, it was great. And Amnesia is a performance enhancing drug without having to use a, uh, item. You're playing like professionally and stuff. Well, we're trying to get this one whooper to beat the entirety of the DLC, which is meant for a team that beat the champion. <laughs> so, it's gonna be, uh, we have to play a little sweaty. Dude, this isn't even like the competitive one <laughs> i'm really scared for the next dlc i've seen thumbnails and i've heard terror about the craziness that happens oh it's the guy uh this is the festival of masks uh, today's just the first day it'll keep going for a while i bet you don't have any festivals this big over in paldea or wherever right <laughs> dot 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 yeah that's, no that's true we don't <laughs> knew it see kitakami's just as good as any of your big shiny cities it's okay, Omega. Just ignore her. The Festival of Masks is held so we can all honor the loyal three. The brave heroes of Kitakami. The loyal three are the Pokemon that once protected this land from the evil ogre, you know. Oh, look. They've got candy apples. Let's go check off the stalls. Kind of a shitty festival. <laughs> or a shitty, like... It's nice, but, like, I expected, like... They said parade, and I was like, oh, damn. This is gonna be epic. Oh! It's the guy! It's the guy on the, on the cover of the DLC. Oh, come back. Hello. How's it hanging? <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. They, they look interesting. They don't look much like an ogre. Hi. Mysterious child is staring at you from behind their mask. The Omega. <laughs> Omega, honey, no. Hey, Omega, listen to this. It's nuts! Exclamation mark! Oh. Hey, who was that? <laughs> Walk forward four meters. Get into another cutscene. Ooh. You, you, you shouldn't run off on your own. Hey, new kid. That goes for you, too. Oh, uh, 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 it's a little guy. <laughs> you should come back. The mountain's dangerous at night. N uh, Carmine, please. <laughs> oh. All right, bike, run after them. <laughs> That's the title of the thing. <laughs> Teal mask, pattern after the face of an ogre. Ogre pond drop. Well, thanks for name dropping the thing. Ogre pond dropped it while fleeing up the stairs after visiting the. Damn, I really wonder who the ogre is now. Who was that? Where'd that kid come from? <laughs> Damn, you're tall. Can we talk about this? <laughs> what are you talking about? Wait, do you mean could could that have been the ogre from from the story on all the signboards? Are you saying the story was true? I mean, they did drop a mask, so they really must be. Uh, Omega, sis, what are you guys doing over here? 
Oh, you know, we just bumped into. Hey, wait, just stop, stop, just do it. What, 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 why are you yelling all of a sudden, sis? It's nothing. It's nothing you'd be interested in at all, I swear. Oh, I get it. I bet you're making fun of me behind my back. I'm just gonna head back to the festival. Huh. At least I didn't figure out what we were really talking about. Don't scare me like that babbling for the whole world to hear. Don't you have any filter? <laughs> I really don't. See, Kiki really likes the ogre. Like, really, really, really likes it. So if he found out we'd seen the ogre without him, I guess I was afraid he'd feel bad, you know? Feel left out or something. Am I overthinking it? Sides. I didn't want him running out up to the mountain to follow the ogre at this hour either. Well, in any case, we already lied about it, and that's that. Let's keep this whole thing our little secret, okay? And maybe hold off showing Kiki that mask you just picked up too. Omega is four foot. He's our short king. <laughs> this festival's so much fun, and absolutely nothing weird happened, right? Yep, 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 yep. Thousand percent. <laughs> hey, Kiki, check out this cool mask. Had enough at the festival? Well then, guess we should head back home. I'll walk you back to the community center. The next day. There you are, Omega TM. Or Omega. Uh, I don't call you TM. I'm not, I'm not official like that. So, uh, you see, I wanted to talk to you for a bit. You haven't told anybody about the, you know, the thing that happened yesterday, right? You still have that thing we picked up at the stairs, right? My grandpa knows a lot about the village's history. We should go talk to him about what happened yesterday. Let's show grandpa the, you know, the, the thing we found. We? What are you, French? I found it. You were just there. H hey, Omega. Good morning. Ugh. He's awake, huh? W wanna go see the last signboard? Kiki, go find someplace else to be. Omega's got business with me. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, he's spending all this time with you? That's so unfair. You can be such a jerk. What did you just call me? <laughs> What's his deal? Kiki should know better than to talk to me like that. That's enough, Carmine. Be kind to your younger brother. I was being kind. It's not like I hit him or anything. Duh, duh, duh. Anyway, we've got more important things to discuss. Right, Omega? Come on. You gotta show Grandpa that thing you have. Shiny charm. Look at this. Huh. And, and this is... No, no, not that. I'm talking about the thing we found yesterday. <laughs> could, could, could this be... This mask, it belongs to that poor ogre. Where did you find this? We bumped into it. The, the ogre, I mean. Yesterday, at the Festival of Masks. I never would have thought that the ogre would still be gracing our festival with its presence. Huh. What do you mean, still? I thought the ogre was a scoundrel that attacked the village. I suppose it's time I told you, Carmine. You see, the truth of what happened with that ogre is the other way around. Let me tell you the true story as passed down through our family for generations. <laughs> yes, I would like to hear the story now. I'm glad that I have to speak to you again. This is going to be a bit of a long story to tell. Is that all right? No. Well, do let me know when it's all right then. <laughs> Asshole. This story has been passed down in our family by word of mouth. I learned it from my father. I don't know what my voice is. I'm not going to lie. It's a story of truths. A story that must never be told to the rest of the village. You must never speak of it to others. Okay. A long, long time ago, a man and an ogre came to Kitakami from a foreign land. The people of the village feared the man and the ogre, who looked so different from them. They were always racist. And so they refused to let the travelers come anywhere near the village. This man and the ogre were saddened that the villagers would not welcome them. But they were happy just to have each other. They settled quietly in a cave on the mountain. There was only one villager who pitied the two travelers, the village mask maker. He made several masks for the man and the ogre. By wearing these masks, the travelers would hide their true faces and mingle with the villagers. The man and the ogre were overjoyed. They thanked the mask maker for his kindness. Wearing the masks, the man and the ogre started secretly joining the village festival. The mysterious pair soon became the talk of the village because of their brilliant masks. In fact, rumors about them quickly spread far and wide, even to distant lands. But rumors of exquisite, shining masks attract more than just innocent curiosity. A group of greedy Pokemon soon made their way to the land of Kitakami. These Pokemon sneaked into the cave in which the man and the ogre live and tried to make off with the masks. The man happened to be there. He managed to hold on to one of the masks, but he was not strong enough to protect them all. The Pokemon stole the other three masks. Several hours later, when the ogre returned to the cave, it found its beloved home in ruin. All that was left were the signs of a struggle and a teal mask. The ogre donned that mask and went down to the village, perhaps to search for its friend. It found the greedy Pokemon there, gloating over their stolen masks, and defeated them. The villagers, of course, had no idea what was happening, nor why. 
All they saw was the raging ogre, and they felt great fear. The villagers thought the three Pokemon had fallen, trying to protect the village from the ogre to honor their sacrifice. The villagers named them the Loyal Three and, in and interred them with care. Wounded and weak, the ogre returned to its cave alone and with great sadness. That, that's that's terrible. The Ogre Pond didn't deserve that. And the Loyal Three, they're, they're the worst. The story everyone's been told is the complete opposite of the truth. They gotta hear about this. Calm yourself, Carmine. I told you already to keep it to yourself. But, but, Grandpa, the villagers believe their own version of history. They revere the Loyal Three. So how would they react to being told they've got it all wrong? They'd probably get angry. Exactly. Back when this all first occurred, the mask maker, that is to say our ancestor, tried desperately to tell the truth of the matter, but nobody would take him seriously. In fact, it said he was persecuted as a heretic. Oh, that really gets my blood boiling. In the end, the mask maker chose to protect his descendants, us, by keeping his mouth shut. However, he kept the truth alive, passed down from generation to generation as a family secret. I see. Kiki doesn't know about the whole story yet, does he? He shouldn't know. I've certainly never spoken to him about it. Why do you ask? I don't know. He just really seems to like the ogre. He's practically obsessed. And he's been trying to one-up me, as if he knows more about Ogre Pond than I do. Well, I can't say what's going on with the boy. But he always was a sensitive child. It wouldn't surprise me if he somehow intuited the truth. I promise to tell Kieran the whole story when the time is right. Until then, take care not to breathe a word of the truth to anybody. Now I really can't tell Kiki we met the ogre. How about that mask you showed me? I noticed the jewel on its forehead was chipped. I might be able to fix it. Would you mind leaving the mask with me for a little while? Give the teal mask to Carmine's grandpa. Don't worry. I'll be sure to take good care of this. Oh, brother. For now, we should carry on with orienteering before Kiki gets suspicious. I bet we'll find Kiki just killing time somewhere in town. Oh, uh, hey, Omega TM. Uh, so, so I was gonna ask, what were you and my sister just, uh, talking about? Uh, you know, this and that. It's casual stuff. Uh, oh, I, I see. So, about those signs. The last one's a bit of a hike away. It's in the Paradise Barrens on the other side of Oni Mountain. We'll need to head over the mountain and down toward the northwest. You go on ahead. I'll catch up. Uh, why, why do you lie to me? Well, to be fair, I didn't have any other choice. It gave me two, and both of them were the same thing. It's Pokemon. I feel like everyone at this point has seen Bike and is just like, yep, that makes sense to me. Because, I mean, like, Nimona and everyone sort of got used to it pretty fast, but Nimona's also insane, so, you know. I haven't seen a lot of new Pokemon, except Nose Pass. <laughs> Never mind. This is now epic. These are the Paradise Barrens. Pretty lonely place, huh? Uh, according to the old legend, the ogre used to be seen around here lots. Hey, hey before we check out the sign, could you battle me? Uh, I, I actually really don't know. Let's see. Carmine, kind of difficult. Your team didn't seem nearly as difficult. This time, I'll win. As long as you don't have Poliwrath yet, I should be fine. Poliwrath is just, is just a scary Pokemon in general. I do have Water Absorb, though, so I, I wall some of its moves, which is great. I want to win. I want to win, so I, I got this. Okay, going to immediately Amnesia. I want my special defense up. I wish the Jared strategy was a cooler strategy, but this is mainly what we're going to be doing. Protecting, healing as much as we can with Black Sludge, and then Poison Jab. All right, he has Polyrath. This is fine. If he uses a water move, I'm A-OK. -okay. Huge! That's, that's actually really good. <laughs> oh, that sucks. My stats. Uh, ah, <laughs> that's why he did that. <laughs> Ow, <laughs> dude. W why does it have to be like this? Why? Good fight, Karen. And we only used one healing item. Way better than like however many we had to use for Carmine. I lost. Whoa. Uh -oh. Red flag, red flag, absolute crimson flag right here. Whenever you zoom into a fist being made, that's bad. It's it's because I'm weak. That's why I... We should go check out the sign. Come on, let's get this over with. In the old days, everyone carried masks wherever they went. And the one who made those masks was actually my great-great-great-grandpa's great-great-great-grandpa or something. Our family has a long line of mask makers. Even my gramps can make them. But I don't really like what they wrote on this sign here. Just because the ogre seemed sort of scary, everyone got all afraid of it and drove it away from the village. But I'm pretty sure the ogre must have been lonely on its own. Left all alone like that, treated like some kind of outcast. What does sorry mean in this instance? For, for what? We're all done with our assignment now. But I've got to get stronger with my Pokemon. I'm going to head home. The next day. I wonder how Carmine feels about me jumping over her family's fence. 
Oh, Mega, you took your sweet time. I was sleeping. We wanted to talk to you before Kiki wakes up. I wanted to fix dear Ogapon's mask, but I'll need more material if I want to do a proper job of it. Yeah. According to Grandpa, we need to get a crystal cluster from the bottom of the crystal pool. I mean, we could just return the mask as it is, but I think it would make Ogapon real happy if we fixed it up first. Especially now that I've heard the real story. I just want Ogapon to be happy, you know? Morning, Grandpa. Ah, good morning, Kieran. Kiki, you'd better go kill some time somewhere. Yeah, yeah, do whatever you want, sis. I excuse me? I don't need that kind of attitude from you. I got stuff to do, okay? He's gonna, he, he's gonna summon Giratina. We're gonna go on the mountain. He's gonna summon Giratina. He's gonna take off his, his like normal clothes. His hair is gonna be all different. He's gonna start playing the Cynthia theme, and I'm gonna shit myself. <laughs> oh, I'm so afraid. What's his problem? He's been all bent out of shape since yesterday. I don't know. He spent the evening in his room without so much as a bite of dinner. Must be teen angst or something. It happens. The crystal pool is at the top of Oni Mountain. I'm not usually too keen on outsiders heading up the mountain, but I think we can make an exception for you. Time to climb the mountain because I refuse to look for the actual path. Hello. There you are, Mega. Come on, let's get a load of this view. Oh, that was a genuine thing to say. I never know when she's genuine or when she's like an annoying. This is the crystal pool. Bet you didn't expect it to be so pretty, huh? The crystals here are always shining. Isn't that strange? There's even a weird rumor that you can meet people here who have passed away. Now we'll just need to get a little bit of the crystal from the bottom of the pool so we can fix the mask properly. And that's where you come in, Omega. Go on then, jump in. Don't be scared. <laughs> me? <laughs> you want me to go in there? Well, yeah, I can't swim. And besides, my clothes would get soaked if I did it. You've got a real nifty po Pokemon to ride on, right? You'll be fine. Whoa, what in the? Uh, an earthquake? My <laughs> Oh, <laughs> this one looks strong. You're awfully lucky that I'm around. <laughs> no, it still has the focus sash. Damn it. <laughs> now that I think about it, Pokemon like that one do show up here from time to time. You know, you're pretty handy to have around in battle, aren't you? Oh. How lucky we are. It just happens to be here. Maybe it was stuck to that Pokemon you fought. Oh, uh, how did you... What? Okay. The energy coming from those crystals at the bottom of the pool. I knew it. Miss Briar. Hi there, Carmine. And Omega TM2. I thought you were paired with other students. Did you decide to switch things up? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Miss Briar, but this place is actually pretty special. I'm not a big fan of outsiders just walking around up here. I did get permission from the caretaker, though. Was that not sufficient? Why did you come here? No, oh, just doing a bit of field research. I was interested in the properties of the water here. And, well, my hunch was on the money. You see, the crystal pools of water emit energy of the same wavelength as terrestrial energy. Though I have no idea why that is. Once I figure that out, I might be able to stabilize the terrestrial phenomenon in regions other than Paldea. Uh, I see. Well, um, we've got somewhere to be. So, let's head back, Omega. Why do people love stalking children in this village? <laughs> Omega is very, very used to being stalked at this point in his life. Omega has been through a lot of sh- <laughs> Hey, Grandpa, we got that crystal cluster you needed. Omega, Carmine, I'm so sorry. Huh? Did something happen? Kieran, he- he ran off with the mask. What? Why would Kiki do that? Oh. Did you tell him about the ogre or something? I would never. All right, I'm sorry. I knew you wouldn't just go babbling to him like that. Kieran seemed to be headed to the loyalty plaza with the mask. I think it would be best for you two to go after him. Maybe that's why Omega is 30, the time machine. Oh, the time machine makes him still look like a kid. I like that. Let's just make lore for Omega. How long has it really been? Since the events of the Nuzlocke to now, how long has it been? I feel like he went on this vacation to get away from Nimona, get away from Arvin, get away from everyone who was like annoyed him like he only brought Jared he didn't bring any of his Nuzlocke Pokemon they all get to rest now Omega Kiki what in the world you think you're doing you two knew didn't you you knew that the ogre wasn't the real bad guy in the stories the loyal three were the real bad guys but the ogre's the one that gets treated like an outcast y y you knew you two did the same thing to me you treated me like an outcast when you went and met with the ogre. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean- You're no different than those villagers back then. You know how much I love the ogre. You acted like you didn't know anything, but you were laughing at me behind my back all along. That's not what happened at all. Liar, you're a liar. What's gotten into you, Kiki? You're acting real off today. You don't say, battle me. If you win, I'll give you back the mask. So come on, battle me already. Are you sure, man? I, I need this battle. Get to your position. I'm not gonna hold anything back. You hear me? All right. <laughs> Glad I saved. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Kieran. There we go, finally he evolved it. All right, Jared. I know this isn't right, but I, I just can't hand the mask over to you. Bug Buzz. Ah, not very effective, my ass, what the fuck? <laughs> we might have to do two amnesias because that Bug Buzz hurts. I don't want to heal yet. I want to limit my healing. 
because, you know, I feel like he healing is born. Got his ass, Jared. He's got a skull on his head. That's what your Pokemon are going to be looking like soon. Okay. <laughs> we are going to need X attacks. <laughs> that did actually nothing. I'm going to try and limit myself to three healing items per battle. This should definitely kill now. That's really bad. That's like extraordinarily bad. One earthquake. Oh God. <laughs> We're going to need an X defense right now. Holy, can we even survive? I don't know if we can survive an earthquake. It's level 66. I don't know if we survive this. Oh my God. Huh. That got you good, huh? I can beat you, Omega. I will win. That hurt really badly. Okay. That's two. That's two healing items. Ground is like the one thing I can't deal with. We're going to protect for the maximum amount of HP we get just in case of a crit. I, th I mean, I think a crit just kills me. Okay, it's a two shot. Do we take the risk that he heals us? He's done it every other time. I'm gonna take the risk. Shit, okay. There goes all of my stats. That really sucks. That super duper sucks. That doesn't even kill him too. Um, I'm gonna heal. We might just have to bait him out into using Haze. That might have to be our game plan here. It really sucks. That's a, I, I hate that game plan. Ah, <laughs> It, it, it's such a risk going for attack here. He's not going to even die. But will he go for Haze again? I don't know. I don't know if I can risk it. Kieran put up a fight. Oh, damn. I really need this guy to crit, man. I'd love if Jared could crit every now and then. That'd be awesome. All right. We got those two down, which are pretty scary. If, like, if, if, if we could get recover. If we could recover, toxic, protect. That'd be perfect. I just don't know where we could get recover. Oh, man. <laughs> GG's, Kieran. Oh! Ow. <laughs> Ow. Kiki, are you alright? Here. I, I promised. Thanks, buddy. Toxic spikes could work. No, if Glyscore's flying, it doesn't hit him. Say hi to the ogre for me. H hey, l listen, Kiki. I should apologize for him going home. Uh, I'm sorry about all that. He's normally not like this at all. Do you think most people act up like that around Kieran's age? I don't know. He kind of went crazy. <laughs> Hey, you hear something? Is it coming from the Loyal Three Monument? They brought out the budget for this cutscene. Ah, uh, damn! We are dead. We're dead. We're not there anymore. We're, we're dead. Evaporated immediately. Oh, what, 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 what's going on? It's the guys. Oh, oh, <laughs> monkey. <laughs> So, uh, how's it hanging? He broke the monument. Bro, I do not ever let Kieran punch you. You will die. <laughs> what in the world? What, what, what do you want? What, what are they doing? They're yelling at us. Oh, see you guys. But s seriously, what is going on? That might be an issue. What, what was that all about? Hey, you're right. There were three of them, and they looked all sinister. That's gotta be them. The story said they were laid to rest under the statues, right? What brought them back to life? Wait, they ran off toward Kitsukami Hall. That can't be good. Let's go after them. Come on, Omega. Damn! Olympic-ass sprinters, bruh. All of them. Ah, if it isn't Omega TM. Hey, did those lousy three Pokemon come here? I believe you mean the loyal three, Carmine. Forget about that silly title. Always with your attitude. The loyal three were just visiting our humble little hall. It seems they wish to collect the shining masks we've kept safe here at Kitsukami Hall. So naturally, we representatives of the hall were happy to return the mask to them with all haste. You, you gave them the masks? And we offered them a platter of our special Kitsukami mochi, packed full of our best herbs. And you fed them? Kitsukami mochi are full of nutrition. The loyal three are bigger and- Oh, it's like it's gonna be like the the big guys. <laughs> you know what I mean. But those lousy three are the bad guys. The masks belong to Ogre Pawn. Uh, I really wish I could tell them everything. If the story we heard is true. Then those three must have gone to get revenge on Ogre Pawn. They say the Ogre fought using the powers of its masks. But Ogre Pawn doesn't have any masks right now, right? It won't stand a chance. Let's return its mask. Yeah, we're on the same page. But we should split up. You head to the Dreaded Dead and help Ogre Pawn. I'll go back home to get the mask fixed up. I'll head your way the moment the mask's fixed. Until then, make sure Ogre Pond's safe. What the hell is this? Where am I? <laughs> oh my god, it's the Whooper Sanctuary. Quagsire's down here, Whooper's down. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is great. Bro, all of our favorite guys are here. Oh my goodness. They all have like little homes in here. This is perfect. Hey, step away from them. 
Oh my god. Monkey. Do we have to fight all three of them back to back? Erm, um, not epic. I assume I just have to- What? Uh, 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 oh. <laughs> all right. Oh God, what is this thing gonna do? All right, I need I need type and should I be afraid <laughs> right now? Huge, good shit, Jared. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right, Jared, hold on. I I realize that you're seeing through the ground right now, but I really need you to stop doing that. I know he's our deity and everything, but he's breaking my immersion. Damn. Knock it off, all of you. They were trying to go three against one on you? Huh? I guess a fair fight too much to expect, but now that we're here, we'll make you regret ever coming back to life. <laughs> we should get the hell out of here. This girl's insane. <laughs> uh, they ran away. Huh. I guess I'm just too much for them to handle. Uh, Omega, I, 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 um... Go on, say it properly. Uh, about the mask. I just got so angry, and what I did was real dumb. So, uh, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, don't mention it, man. It's I. Right. I'm not gonna say I'm sorry to you. This guy kind of went a little crazy. Technically, I didn't do anything wrong, all right? <laughs> Omega should not get the blame from this. Thanks, uh, Omega. He was soaking around, so I grabbed him by the collar and dragged him here. And, well, I'm glad I did. No one will just stab them to death. Yeah, <laughs> I, I much prefer Carmine to Nimona any day. It's really you, the, the real-life ogre. Wowzers, you really are something. Hey, it's been a while since you've said wowzers. You wanted to be the one to give the mask back to Ogre Pond, right, Kiki? Th this is for you, dear ogre. Gah, grr. It seems scared. Maybe it's not good with the new people, Kiki. Hmm. I don't think it'll take the mask if I'm the one giving it back. You should be the one to do it, Omega. Okay. <laughs> Here. It's like, oh, you! <laughs> yeah, everyone knows me. I am the champion, after all. Pon Pon, yo! <laughs> it seems so happy. It seems pretty comfortable around you, Omega. Hmm. It'd be nice if we could give the other three masks back to Ogre Pond, too, don't you think? I wouldn't put it past the so-called loyal three to plot a second ambush, either. We need to keep Ogre Pond safe while we deal with them. That means the three of us are gonna form a team. The Mask Retrieval Squad. <laughs> you serious? Y you got a problem with the name? Think carefully or I made the mochi from second in command. Uh, I can come, too? Of course you can. And now that that's settled, we're gonna get those masks back. We can do this. Uh, uh, What's wrong, Ogre Pond? I bet it doesn't want to go into the village. The villagers did a pretty good job of chasing it away back then, so... Okay, well, maybe Ogre Pond can wait for us here. We can go gather information while it waits. D d do you think it'll be okay? Pay attention now, Ogre Pond. We go in, village. You stay here. Ogre Pond, stay. Do you understand? Uh, I'm gonna take that as a no. Wait for us till we come back. Yeah, they only listen to me because I'm a champion. Did you, did you know that? By the way, I'm, I'm a champion. I don't know if you knew that. Tony! What was wrong with what I said? Two very boring minutes later. We're back, Ogre Pond. All right, let's combine the info we've gathered. You go first, Kiki. Okay, well, here's what I heard. No, I agree. Black screen. Ah, I see. Interesting. Thanks to the information you two brought, I think we know exactly where each of those lousy three is hiding. What did you learn? Look, I'm the leader here. Mundane work like gathering info just doesn't suit me. Now then, let's go retrieve those masks. We can do this. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm not going. What? You're a part of the team. You need to come along. As long as Omega's around, I'm sure Ogre Pond will feel safe. Besides, I got things to do. Last time you had things to do, you... All right, whatever. S sorry. Uh, I wonder if he's still upset. Oh, well, I can't force him to tag along. Let's just take care of this ourselves. Damn! Why is he big? Ah, it's the cocky-looking one. That huge head must meet its monkey dory. Damn. <laughs> Time for us to put this one in its place, Omega. Ooh, Thunder Wave's actually great. Thank you for doing that. Bye, Marpeka. <laughs> Jeez, that did nothing. Yes, excellent move. Keep up the pressure. Also, why the fuck did you just kill my Pokemon? He ain't dead yet. Nah, he has a lot of health. Oh my god. This poor guy has not hit the RNG check he needs. Not a single move. <laughs> Will he be able to hit one move? Shadow Ball. And it's uh, it's, it's gonna hit her. <laughs> Wait, 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 don't fall over. Oh, okay, good job, Jared. And you too, Egg. <laughs> That's what you get. Hey, look, it dropped the mask. Fun. We did it. We got the first mask back. <laughs> and we took a selfie. Let's go. Yay. Let's go. This is awesome. Thank goodness it all worked out. Right, Ogre Pond? How did you get here? Omega, sis. Huh? Kiki, what's up? Well, uh, I, I, I wanted to ask a favor. I wanted you to come to the village and bring the ogre with you. Are you sure it's safe? You gotta trust me. It'll be okay. I promise. That's all I wanted to ask. J just come. I wonder what's gotten into him. Everyone in the village thinks that Ogre Pond's a menace, right? I hope he knows what he's doing. Let's trust Kiki and head to the village. Yeah, you really don't want to be here, do you? J don't worry. It it'll be fine. 
Kiki, what's this all about, really? I, I, I know you must be scared, Ogapon, but I, I did my best. So just, just trust me and come with me, uh, okay? Okie dokie. So that's the ogre, Ogapon. It's actually real? Gagra, let's trust Kieran. So this is the ogre of Oni Mountain. This is the true face of Ogrepon, whom we've so sorely wronged. For far too long, we've told tales casting you as the villain here in Kitakami. We all owe you a great apology. Pony? Kieran's been running around the whole village, telling everyone the true story of what happened. I was worried he'd stir up a lot of resentment, so I told him to stop, but... We're so sorry, dear Ogre. Seems I was wrong to worry so much. <laughs> Who knew Kiki had it in him? Especially since he usually hates talking to people. From now on, you can come to the village whenever you want. And you don't need to hide your face when you do. Ponyo! One last thing to do. Let's escort Ogre Pond back to its home. Uh... <laughs> well, here we are. Pond! It's a bit lonely out here. But I guess this place must mean a lot to Ogre Pond. Oh? Pono! Hey, you know what? I think Ogre Pond might want to go with you, Omega. Pond, Pond, Pond! Oh, no, no, Karen! I'm sorry, bruh. I'm sorry. If I can trade it to you, I will, bruh. I don't care about this guy. I have no emotional attachment. Hey, hold up. It's not gonna stay here. Then I, I, I wanna... I want Ogre Pond to come with me! Kiki, I know I'm being real selfish, but oh, Omega, please! Let me battle you to see which one of us should get to help Ogre Pond with them. Hey, Kiki. I know you really love Ogre Pond. I really honestly understand, but you have to think about Ogre Pond's feelings too. Pond? I, I want to battle anyway. Well then, let's get started. Whoever wins gets to be Ogre Pond's partner. So don't, don't you dare hold back. Here we go. You're challenged by Pokemon trainer Kieran. Shift tree? What, what a random dude. I know you're probably a better trainer for Ogre Pond, but I, I, jeez, level 71. That's just mean. That's da the most damage fake out has ever done ever. <laughs> Ow! That wasn't even a crit. I think we Tarantulize Protect here, because like uh, he has six Pokemon. Holy shit! Either way, right? Gliscor comes in. It's still super effective against me with its ground type moves. So I think I should just Tarantulize and hopefully do more damage to this shift tree then because that leaf blade hurt a lot and i would like to be poisoned so i can resist it this is going to be really hard they have six pokemon let's fucking go kieran yeah i barely live that that's a crit okay huge so crit doesn't do that much poison jab Ah, oh, he has a focus sash really y you're not holding back uh, thank you but i won't hold back either he does like, like sister, like brother. All right. Definitely going to have to heal. Let's just go straight in with another poison jab. I hope he has more water types on his team so I can just water absorb and get my health back. That'd be great. That's what I need right now. Good stuff, Jared. <sighs> here we go. 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 Okay. 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 Got it. Got it. Protect. I think if we protect, heal up a little bit more with Black Sludge, we live this. Maybe? Oh, God. I don't even know if we live it. I don't know. I don't think we live this. If we max, if we X defense right now, maybe. But we're going to be extraordinarily low. X defense, baby. Send it. You got this, Jared. Copious amounts of drugs will gain us victory here. Oh, my God. Maybe he'll have mercy and go to a different move. I don't think he's going to, though. Definitely 1,000% going to heal here. I, I will just die if I don't. We have our X defense up. As long as he doesn't crit with Earthquake, we should be perfectly fine. We have to get some damage on this guy. Oh, uh, crit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that was the one thing I didn't want it to do. <laughs> I think instead of going for Amnesia first, we go for X defense first. So, yeah, I think we just... X defense right damn now. And depending on how much damage this lead plate does, I think we just use this guy to set up. Just get some X attacks. Let's get that X attack, baby. Okay, chat. How fast is Polyrath? And how many X speeds do we have to use to outspeed it? Because we have to outspeed and kill because he has haze. Although, because once he does that, all of our shit is gone. Why do they crit? They crit so much. I have not crit a single time this entire four hour stream. We're gonna heal. He's not going to crit. And then we're gonna outspeed and kill his entire team. That's what I'm gonna do, personally. All right, Jared, you hear that? They're cheering you on, Jared. I know we have the defense up, but in case he crits me again, I want as much HP as I can possibly have. We outspeed, do we kill him? 
Oh, my. okay. Two shot. He's two shot. As long as this doesn't crit, we're fine. All right. Massive. As far as I'm concerned, this is the hardest guy on his team. Unless he ad he's added someone else. I don't like the way that I'm winning this, but it would genuinely be impossible without the X items. Let's be honest. I don't... <laughs> I believe in Jared. I don't believe in him that much. <laughs> He's dead. The hardest thing is dead. Yan Mega. That's fine. I think we outspeed and kill this. Why do you know Psychic? Who, who, who allowed you? Who said you could do that? It's fine. We outspeed. We outspeed and kill. 1000%. We also set up an amnesia earlier on in the fight. But still, way to give me a heart attack video game. That's not epic. Does Probo Pass have Levitate? I can't remember. Oh god, he has Sturdy. Okay, Sturdy is fine. As long as he didn't have Levitate. Alright, we're at full HP. Let's go. My evasiveness fell, so we're not going to be dodging anymore. I need to one-shot this thing, because I do not want that speed-falling move. Come on, Jared. Let's go. All right. It's not over yet. I I I'm tired of losing. All right, Polyrath. Oh, wait, this is the last Pokemon. Okay. As long as we can kill this guy without him using Haze, it's fine. Because once he uses Haze, then it becomes an issue, because all of our stat boosts are gone. Let's go, Jared. My boy has done it again. Brought it home. With copious amounts of drugs. <laughs> uh, f f figures. If only I had copious amounts of drugs. I, I knew I couldn't win. That's eh, fine. Just take drugs. You'll be better. <coughs> but I, I just couldn't give up. Uh. I I'm sorry. Oh, Kiki. I think it's time for you to catch Ogre Pond, Omega. It seems Ogre Pond wants to test his strength against you. Do you want to battle Ogre Pond so that you can catch it? Yeah. Quick ball time! <laughs> oh, I, f I feel bad for Kieran. Fire. That's awesome. I'm a ground type. Die. <laughs> Angry. Angry guy. Jared! Gra Ponyo! What? Um, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> what the fuck? Why did you. Hey! <laughs> Okay, well, it's fire type, so it's fine, but still. It, it, it terrestrialized its mask, so that's what Ogre Pond's really capable of. Attack Rose. I'm fucking scared. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna ask the fence. <laughs> I'm a little scared. Don't hurt me. Please. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bleed. Ah! Damn! Jesus! My health bar! <laughs> that was with two, I guess, one time stat boost. But holy! God damn! All right, Jared, back into the fire. We need more drugs. I don't even know if I can live another one of those. Hey, man, you really don't have to. Ah! Because we're at plus three defense, and that's still doing a lot of damage. Stop going for that move, dude. Quit it. Give up. Oh! <laughs> Look at you, attacking the Ogre Pond's type. I knew you could handle this. Damn! Good shit, Jared! <laughs> If we can saw, if we can squake, yeah? No, me too. I think it does. <laughs> Let's be careful here. Get in. If it crits me right now, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna die IRL. I'm, it's gonna throw the hammer through my- Ah! <laughs> saying shit <laughs> every time i said hey bro please don't crit it immediately crits oh man i'm gonna stay back here for a little bit i, I gotta i gotta rethink everything what happened to bro go back like a minute we were so back and then it was jover in seconds ivy cudgel's a hydra i know but the funny part is it didn't crit a single other time it only crit when i said hey please don't crit <laughs> no i'm not toxic stalling i can do this i got it I just needed to not crit. That'd be awesome. I know it's a rationalized mask, Carmine. I can see it. So let's not do this. Ow! My face! My everything! I laugh and I cry, but damn, it's gonna be funny content when it happens. Copious amounts of drugs, Jared. That's all we need. We've been here before, chat. What do you think he's gonna do? Hey, cr hey, you wanna crit, man? Jared? Cool. Okay, no crit. I get it. I get it. I get it. Look at you. It's oh, I already read this. I've been here before, Carmine. Nothing means anything. With Earthquake, we're gonna make their Earth shake and be dead as hell. We're gonna be like, what shoes are they wearing? We beat the DLC. It's gonna be awesome. That's gone. All right. <laughs> at least it didn't take longer than Kieran's fight. Memories of adventuring with you, Grant. Hey, 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 hey. Hey! <laughs> hey! 
What the fuck? <laughs> it's so Jover. Okay, question. Chat, do my stats stay the same? Oh shit! Water absorb! I forgot! Fuck you! Get out of here! Okay, we, we wall this one. This one's fine. Let's just fing use this one to set up. That's what we're gonna do. Because as long as the stats stay, that's fine. Roid this man out. Full X attack, full X speed. We're gonna try our best to one shot all of them. And we dodge. Let's go. Poison jab. Get in there. Huge. Big damage. That's a, that's the second one down. It, it, we're so back as long as the stats stay the same. Because this is rock type. We're going to earthquake it. It's going to die. Jared, you got... How the... How was I supposed to do this without X items? What the fuck were we supposed to do against this guy? <laughs> there was no shot I could have done either of these battles without X items. Get out of here. This is a really sick fight, by the way. <laughs> I was not expecting this. I mean, now that I look back, it, it makes sense. But it, I think it's really cool. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is the big mask. Here we go. We are a poison type. If they're going to put on a hat, I say we put on a hat as well. Or it's a, it's a mask. It's a mask. But still, yeah. Get in there, Jared. You take that. You eat that for breakfast, Jared. I know you do. Let's go. Get in there, Jared. Let's go. <laughs> Good shit, Jared. Second try on both of those hard fights. Uh, I think that's everything Ogre Pond's got. Now's your chance to catch it. Yeah, dust ball works. Oh, man, dude. GG's. It is Jared's time. He has made up for dying so early on in the Nuzlocke. I think he was literally the first to die in the Nuzlocke. Our deity is back, everyone. Hey, uh, well done, Omega. That was pretty impressive. Hey... I feel bad. C c c c congratulations. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah, I feel like thanks is nicer. Y yeah. W why can't I be like you, Omega? Why can't I use a single whooper and kill everything? Wah! Ugh, I hate it when he gets like that. Don't worry about him. He's the one who said the winner gets to become Ogre Pond's partner. Come on, let's head home. Let's go, Jared. They're cheering for you, Jared. I hope you hear them. The next day. Hey, Omega. Good morning. I've got a message from Carmine. She says she's waiting for you at Lloyd's e Plaza, and that you should hurry up and meet her there. Again? Oh, fuck. I'm gonna have to fight her, aren't I? There you are. You took your time. You really battled great yesterday, Omega. I, I guess the Master Retrieval Squad has completed its mission. Though, Kiki. Well, he's shut himself in his room ever since he got home yesterday. That's worrying. Yeah. Oh, but you don't need to feel guilty or anything, Omega. It's all started because I said we should keep the whole Ogre Pond thing a secret. And you wouldn't think it, but Kiki's got a bit of an ego, too. He doesn't take losing well. Anyway, how's Ogre Pond doing? I'll be honest, I've grown real fond of Ogre Pond myself. Guess Kiki's rubbed off of me a little bit. Do you think you could let me have a battle with Ogre Pond? Uh, no. I, I only use Jared, bro. <laughs> You're not still angry about me giving you a hard time when you first got here, are you? Come on, I just want to make some memories. Can I- can I fight her without Ogre Pond? If I can, I'll fight her. Do I have to have Ogre Pond in my party? No, I don't. I knew you'd say yes! You're not one to turn down a good battle. Let me know when you're ready. Hey, you gotta have Ogre Pond- uh, Okay, I'm just gonna have it on my team. I'm just gonna try not to use it. Alright. Yes, do this. Challenge by Pokemon Trader Carmine. Will this be harder than... Kieran? I don't know. You made me wake up early for this, you know? You better make it worth my time! Yeah, you made me wake up. Alright, well, whatever. Not my attack. I say we swap that out with a good old X attack. Yup, and you're boosting your attack as well. That's perfectly fine by me. Ow! It wasn't perfectly fine by me. I lied. Why'd you do that? <laughs> We're definitely slower than this thing, so we have to X special defense. Otherwise, it's gonna outspeed and kill us with that. Why you gotta have a psychic move? Disable? What are you disabling? Protect? No! No! That's really bad! Willow! Wi oh, this. You suck. I hate you. Eesh, you really hit where it hurts, don't you? I bet you're real popular back home. Yeah, well, actually, I'm, I'm the champion. I don't know if you know that, actually. I'm, I'm the champion, by the way. Hi, my name's Omega. I'm the champion. Yeah, that, that's me. I, I did that. That's the not epic one. That's the one that I severely dislike. But it's fine, because we can terrestrialize and poison jab. And it just died. Because it will no longer be able to do a shit ton of damage to us with its little move that heals all of its HP. We're gonna be fine. It's gonna be A-OK. -okay. We are not going to be fine. We are not going to be A-OK. -okay. We are going to die. That didn't even do that much damage. Do I heal before the burn damage? Okay, great. I heal before the burn damage. That's awesome. I guess we full restore then, huh? <laughs> Jeez, what the 
Why? <laughs> Poison jab yet again. Stun Spore. I'm gonna have to get rid of that. that now that Hex is gonna do mad damage. And also, Stun Spore is way more annoying than Burn. Unless it dies. Okay, sick. Oh, let's go. Let's go, Jared. Okay, we're gonna Earthquake this guy. <gasps> we dodged it. We dodged it. Let's go, Jared. Leave Vanny. This, if this kills me, I'll die. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Please die. <laughs> please, Paralysis. Please, I bet. Okay. Huh. <laughs> All right. There we go. Sheesh. You're seriously too strong. Thanks for your $6,000. Ah, I lost, but I'm also not surprised. You and Ogrepon really do get along, don't you? Pon pon! I didn't use them at all. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, sheesh, this is awkward to tell you, but I... Hey, uh, who's calling me? Hey there, Omega, this is Briar. It seems all student pairs have completed their orienteering as of this morning. The caretaker wanted to have some words, so could you come back to the community center? Message received, loud and clear. Ah, Carmine is with you? Wonderful. That's one less phone call I have to make. You kids never cease to amaze me. It seems you become fast friends the moment you spend even the briefest amount of time together. Well, head on over to the community center. I'll be there with the rest of my students. She's right about it being the briefest amount of time. We only just became friends, and now we... Oh well, let's go and see what the nosy old guy wants. I don't really want to, but I guess I could play nice one last time. Ah, Omega TM. Everybody's here. Well, most of us are here anyway. Mm. Now then, the caretaker has some words for us. Let's all give him our full attention. Ah, yes. Thank you for coming. I've been told that our student pairs have now finished visiting all the signboards in Kitakami, which means your self-guided tour is at an end. Truth be told, I didn't think you'd wrap up this tour so quickly. You're quite the prodigies. Our visitors from Paldea still have heaps of time left over to enjoy Kitakami and all it has to offer. Continue to make yourselves at home and explore as you please. However, I'm sorry for suddenly springing this on you, but Carmen Kieran and I will need to return to Blueberry Academy a little early. But why? Again, truly sorry, but there have been some developments concerning the Great Crater. I'm afraid we really must be heading back. I realize I was here as your chaperone, but you kids have all proven to be very capable. I'm sure you'll be fine without me. Thank you so much for looking after them in my stead. Don't mention it. You can leave these kids to me. Now then, Carmine, I believe you had something you wanted to say? Yes. Unfortunately, my brother's not feeling well, so it's just me here to speak. Anyway, as you all know, this village is where I was born. And I'll be honest, I didn't want any outsiders coming here at all. It felt like our home was being turned into a tourist trap for a bunch of ignorant strangers. But then we all spent some time together, and none of you were the way I imagined you'd be at all. I shouldn't have been so quick to judge people I don't even know anything about. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is, I had fun. Thank you all so much for visiting our village. Especially you, Omega. I'm glad you came to visit. I mean, it's not like this is goodbye forever. Blueberry Academy has tons of strong trainers. You'd better come visit soon. Oh, I almost forgot. I still need to get packed and everything. This is not goodbye, okay? We're definitely gonna see each other again. Bye bye That's Carmine for you, I suppose. You never know quite what to expect from her. Each moment spent with you kids is just dazzling. For an adult like me, <laughs> it's almost blinding. Anyway, that about wraps up this school trip. Let's all give our caretaker a great big thank you. Thank you. I think that's it? Maybe? I don't know. I, I, I need to become... Oh shit. I need to become a lot stronger. Stronger, 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 and stronger, and stronger! <laughs>